What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got some big things going on with Tesla, especially how we always love it when we see massive bulk orders being placed through. But there is another big industry for the Tesla Model 3, one of the most popular electric vehicles in the world, or should I say the most popular because the sales are just going off the charts. We do have some bulk orders going on with the taxi community in New York City. If you guys don't know, the taxi medallions lately in New York are going down in value because of Lyft and Uber just invading the space. Obviously, anyone could essentially be like a taxi gig worker, kinda. And we currently have a lot of drivers transitioning from gasoline cars, a lot of these older taxi vehicles, to more new and modern vehicles that are more electric based. Right now, the New York Taxi and Limousine Commission, which is TLC for short, has issued a resolution for a pilot program which introduces more electric vehicles to New York City's yellow cab industry. Everyone knows that the yellow cab industry is dying and TLC isn't really doing a good job at trying to prevent that. But, you know, got an Uber and Lyft coming in and a lot of people much rather prefer those. But keep in mind that now we're seeing a pretty massive shift. A lot of these taxis, which are Model 3s, actually get a lot more customers than before. And we could be seeing several major bulk orders coming in. It's always nice to see these bulk orders, very similar to the Tesla Semi, which you usually get bulk orders from logistics companies. For example, some logistics companies order like three to five vehicles, and then if you like it, they'll order 300 to 500 vehicles. It's generally a very good sign when seeing massive bulk orders for a car. And what's even better is Tesla does no negotiations with people, meaning that if you're buying 10 vehicles, you're gonna be paying the full price, no discounts. And guess what? People still buy it. Right now, TLC notes that they do not explicitly permit the use of full electric vehicles as yellow taxis, but the commission did recognize only one model that is allowed to be used as a yellow taxi, and that's the Model 3. So if you get some other electric vehicle out there, that is not the Model 3, it cannot be used as a yellow taxi cab in New York City. This just gives Tesla a massive grip in this industry. The yellow cab industry is declining, but I really do feel like this revival of the Model 3 and this taxi service will definitely attract a lot more people. With the number of these EVs and charging stations increasing throughout the city on a monthly basis, TLC believes that expanding themselves away from gasoline vehicles to an electric department is pretty nice. And launching this battery electric vehicle taxi program is great. This pilot program, once again, only allows the Model 3s to actually go in service. And the Model 3s have been proven to be quite popular among several commuters. There's actually a person who's been a taxi driver for several years and says that when he's at the taxi line, instead of getting into a car they're allowed to go into, passengers sometimes leave that car and go to the Model 3. It's a really weird phenomenon, and I don't really blame them. Teslas are really fun to be in, and they're really fun to drive, and people are just kind of gravitated towards a lot of these nice taxis, these Model 3 taxis, rather than Uber or Lyft, those mediocre looking cars. So TLC is thinking, okay, this is a pretty massive money maker. And TLC will be allowing permit medallion owners can pretty much apply for this EV program, get into this pilot thing, but they only allow electric vehicles that do not have acceleration faster than 4.4 seconds. It's like an absolute mess. It's pretty hard to get into and there's a lot of restrictions, stuff like that, but they do allow the Model 3 at this current moment. If you're a taxi driver in New York City and you have a medallion and you want to go electric, the only vehicle that you could go to right now is the Model 3. You can apply for other vehicles, but it's gonna be very difficult, and they've already approved the Model 3, which is pretty nice. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. I feel like a lot of taxi drivers are slowly going electric, and plus a Model 3, for the price you pay, it's a really durable and good looking car. It's $39,000, yes, it's kinda expensive, but it's actually a very good car, no oil changes, less maintenance, only electric, so no gas. You don't have to wait in line all the time, and it's cheaper, and there's little to no maintenance of it. It's just a great looking car, and you're gonna be getting a lot more business than the competitors. Last but not least, we gotta talk about the Tesla buyers in California. They could finally receive the 1,500 clean fuel reward once again, I kind of wish that this reward was kind of spread out throughout the whole entire United States, but I guess if you're in California right now, heads up, because if you're thinking about getting a Tesla, you might want to get it right now. Tesla's buyers in Cali can once again 
receive the state's $1,500 of clean fuel reward if they purchase an EV. This incentive was established by the California Air Resources Board in an attempt to make it easier to own an electric vehicle. $1,500 might not seem a lot, but lowering the price of the Model 3 from $39,000 to $37,500 really isn't that bad. Any money is better than no money. And this clean fuel reward is now available for all California residents. So if you're a California resident and you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, preferably maybe a Tesla, then right now is the perfect time. This incentive was offered to Cali buyers last year around mid-November, around quarter three of 2020, expired in December 2020, and it proved to be extremely popular. Like sales of Teslas really did spike up pretty well. And it actually convinced buyers to purchase electric vehicles. Some people who are buying cars in the market, they're thinking they should get electric or they should get gasoline. And sometimes just $1,500 can really make all the difference. And it's really nice to see this massive reward coming in, especially recently you do have this massive surge in Tesla price. Tesla in the past month has increased the price a few times and it's really making a lot of people mad. They're not like massive increases, but 500, 1,000 every once in a while eventually adds up. So now the prices start at roughly $39,000 around the region. Obviously it does vary between which country you live in, but generally around the world, it's around thirty-nine dollars to $42,000, which makes it a pretty pricey luxury vehicle. We also have way more Tesla stuff coming in, including terms of the autopilot system, which we should be seeing more and more individuals getting into because we do have a big update coming in the summer of 2021, where they will be giving out the FSD to all the people who bought the $10,000 software. And we should be seeing full autonomy at the end of 2021, which is according to Musk. We also should be seeing more news about a Cybertruck because production is starting very soon. The Berlin Gigafactory isn't super delayed. It's just somewhat delayed. And I think they might actually make it in time to start production in the fall of 2021. And we should be seeing the roads are coming up for next year as well. Cybertruck is looking pretty great. I can't wait to see what's going on. And who knows, we got Bitcoin coming up, crypto, Elon Musk's Saturday night live event, and much, much more. So if you guys are pretty interested, definitely subscribe. We got a lot more things coming in in terms of new orders, analyst prices, etc. It's getting pretty hot for Tesla. We should be seeing more vehicle sales this year and definitely an increase in the stock price. If you guys are interested in Tesla stock, I highly suggest you guys to definitely research it. It's looking very good. They're doing like battery production and much, much more. Of all the companies out there I've ever seen, Tesla is really doing a lot. They're even buying a bunch of mining companies to make sure that they have an edge among its competitors, lithium ion battery production, car making, gigafactories open up everywhere, expansion, it's looking really great for the electric car company. That's about it guys, thanks for watching, comment below, definitely subscribe for more daily videos.